So, in previous videos, we pretty much only talked about enantiomers, which is a mirror image of something. Well, there's an instance where something can be a stereoisomer, but not a mirror image. So, those are diastereomers. And first, just a little fact. Um, mo a molecule... with n centers of chirality of chirality will have a maximum and it won't always have this it's a maximum and so just keep that in mind it won't always be 2 to the n number of stereoisomers we'll talk about instances where it won't have 2 to the n stereoisomers it'll actually have less the those are mirror like molecules that are meso and we'll talk about that later but um for this video I want to talk about diastereomers because a molecule with many stereocenters can have many stereoisomers but only one will be the enantiomer because a molecule can only have one mirror image so essentially a diastereomer is all the stereoisomers of a molecule that's not the enantiomer. And so, I think the best way to do this is to have an example. So, I want to draw four molecules. And so, let's take a look at all of these molecules and how they relate. So, take a second to determine the chiral centers, determine their configuration, R or S. That, that was covered in previous videos. If you're still not sure about how to determine between RS just check out a previous video but I'm gonna do this really quickly and um, so we could get past this video and I'm gonna just do it really quickly out determine whether it's R or S so as you can see you have two chiral centers on each of the carbons right there so in the first one, they're both R. This one over here, they're both S. This one over here, this one is an S, while this one is an R. And this one over here, this one is an R, while this one is an S. And so these are obviously stereoisomers of each other so as you can see an enantiomer I mean as you all know an enantiomer is a mirror image of something so therefore a mirror image of two R's is obviously two S's so these two are enantiomers and then down here this these two are also enantiomers because let's label this carbon as carbon A and this carbon as carbon B as you can see the carbon that was designated as A Oh wait, sorry. This would be A over... I drew that wrong. Sorry, that should be switched. This carbon would be A and this would be B. 
And so as you can see, carbon A's configuration was switched, and same with carbon B's configuration was switched. And so that means that it's switched from an R to an S, so therefore those are an R enantiomers. And then the rest, for example, this and this, those are diastereomers. And how about this? We'll do diastereomers in gold. And so these two are also diastereomers to one another. And then these two are diastereomers to one another. Dia uh, let me just erase this and rewrite it. In gold, diastereomers, and then vice versa over there. So, as you can see from this, there is only one enantiomer of a molecule, but there could be more than one diastereomers. And just a little thing to point out the cis and trans that you learned about for double bonds, those are diastereomers. And so that pretty much sums it up for what diastereomers are. Um, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like it and share it with your friends.